In this video, we're going to be talking about color effects and how you can use the color effects to change the properties of the objects that you're animating. In this um, scene that I have here, there's a simple animation of this block going over the timeline over one second. And what I want to do is I want to change its appearance with the color effects at this frame, so frame 15. So I'm going to click on the object, and here in the properties panel you can see the color effects. And we have four color effects. We have brightness, tint, advanced, and alpha. So let's start with brightness. So if I go to brightness, this will simply either make the object darker or lighter. And if I make it lighter, it's going to completely disappear in this case because the background is, is white. So let's say, for example, that I want it to disappear. So I'll just move this all the way over to the left. So you'll see now in the animation as I scroll through that it gets to this point and then disappears. So if I wanted to bring it back, I'd have to go back to the setting, click on the object, bring the back brightness back to 0%. So now I have an animation that goes from here to here. And it's, and it's pretty fluid. So that's brightness. It's either, either bright or, or dark. And you have a slider. I'm going to switch this back to none just to reset it. And I want to show you that alpha would be the similar, would, would produce the similar effect. So if I set the alpha to zero, and this is the most common that you would use in Adobe Animate to make things disappear. So this goes from 100% to 0% and then it just disappears. And if I wanted to bring it back, go ahead and click on the object, go to the color effect, go to alpha and bring it back to 100%. So this fades out and then fades back in. So if I play through that animation, you'll see what that looks like. Okay. So again, I'm going to click on the object and I'm going to set this to none and go back to frame 15 and it's set to none here as well. So tint allows you to change the color. You can change the tint, the red, green, and blue values of the object. So by changing the, sl the tint slider, it's like changing the hue, uh, but you see that it's only within the range of the original um, colors of the object. So I can pull the green away, I mean the red away. I can add more green. I can pull the blue down, and that gives me a different color. So um, I'm now moving from this blue color to green, and then I can move it to a different color completely if I wanted to, uh, using the tint slider. Maybe I increase the red, decrease the green, and decrease the blue. So now I have this kind of animation, so I can play through that. Okay. Uh, again, I will reset that by clicking this and ch setting it to none. And just to make sure, I'll go here and that's set to none also. The advanced option is kind of all three, right? So you have red, green, and blue values, and then you have an alpha value. So let's say at the alpha value here, I want to set it to 50%. And that makes it 50% opaque. And then for red, you have an option um, to add red, um, to you can decrease the, the amount of green, increase the amount of blue, right? So you could get this type of effect uh, with the advanced. And honestly, I don't use advanced too often, but um, you can see what it's doing here. The other thing that I want to um, just show you is that with with something like uh, uh, alpha transparency, it is completely transparent. So I'm going to go ahead and add a layer, and I'll put the layer beneath, and I'll just add a new item here that's, let's say, this, that's yeah, kind of hideous. Uh, let's go with this color. So I'll just add this to the background. And now you'll see that in the animation, it goes from 100% opaque, and then it goes to 50% and you can see how it mixes with the color behind it. Okay, So that's all of the color effects. And again, with the color effects, you have to have a symbol. And you go into the Properties panel under Color Effects, and you have 
a range of uh, different choices here for the color effects.